All right, hey guys, this is Eddie Ray of TechEddie.com, and we're back with another WordPress plugin. And I've been uh, using a plugin similar to this for quite a while. Basically, it's a, a plugin that allows uh, users to come onto your site and share your content via different social media outlets uh, like Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Plus, and such. And I found one that I really, really like. So we're going to install it here on my one uh, website. We're on eddyray.com, which is my one uh, magic website. But what we're going to do is we're into the back end now. We're going to just going to log in, which we already are actually. We're going to go to add new plugins, and we're going to search for the plugin. And you know what? I actually already have it. So we're going to click upload, choose file. And we see we have it in my downloads. The plugin is called Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus One Share. And you can also do a search for that. And you'll find it uh, mixed in with the other WordPress plugins. So we'll install, we'll activate it. And there's different options which we can do to set this up. So once we activate it, the plugin is now set up, ready to go. We're going to change some of the options. You'll find it in settings and under TF Social Share. We'll click on that. And uh, here are the options uh, Auto Display. Uh, this enables auto display of the social share buttons at a specific position. Okay, and the share buttons used um, are probably the most popular. Uh, we have Facebook Like, Twitter. Stumble upon Google Plus One and LinkedIn. All right, and then you can choose what pages the uh, plugin will sh display on. Uh, so you have single posts, search results, pages, archives, homepage, tags, categories, and other author uh, archives. If you uh, remove the check mark, it will not show up on those pages. Okay, and then the position of the plugin or the toolbar itself above the post below the post, above and below, and left side of the post. Okay, those are your options. There. We're actually gonna choose uh, left side of the post, and then you can choose what the toolbar, the social toolbar will actually look like. Uh, flat border, a rounded border, or no border. I prefer the round border. I'm actually using this particular plugin right now on my other websites as well. So I like the rounded border and the show the background color. Uh, it already has like a nice uh, look aesthetically to it, so I'm not gonna change the color, but you can do uh, color change if you like. Okay, we're gonna enter in our Twitter ID. Mine is Eddie Ray. You don't have to add in the at sign, just type in your username for Twitter. All right, and then we'll have to adjust this to the left side spacing because the toolbar is gonna float on the left side of the web page, unless of course you're viewing posts. Um, so we'll have to adjust that here. There's a fixed position, absolute position. Fixed position means it will remain kind of in the center of the page. Uh, even if the user scrolls down, it will kind of remain there um, at all times, moving up and down with the page, but staying centered pretty much. Or you can also adjust the width of the particular buttons if you like. I never really mess with any of these. And also the uh, um, counter, uh, there's a Twitter counter, Google Plus One and LinkedIn counter showing you and displaying how many people uh, have plus one um, tweeted or um, shared your content. Okay, we're going to save changes. And now we're going to go open up a new tab. We'll go to eddyray.com. All right, and there we have our social uh, plugin toolbar right here. So there's the like for Facebook. You can tweet, plus one, stumble upon, and share. Now, as you see, this is quite a distance away from my uh, actual content. It's kind of a big gap there. So we're going to go back into here, and we're going to increase the left side spacing. That's 60 right now, so we're going to make it 200. That will push it away from the left side of the page, closer to the content of my website. We'll refresh this. And that's closer there. There you go. 
In fact, we're going to move it a little bit more closer. I don't want to move it too close, but maybe like to 25. Okay. Save that. Refresh my page here. And there you go. It moved a little bit closer. Now, this is uh, 40 points down. So it's about center of the page, and it's in a fixed position right now. So if we scroll down the website, you will see it stays in that position relative to the website, which is nice for people to easily uh, have access to sharing your content. Without having to digging around your website and finding these buttons to share your content, it remains in full view the entire time. Okay? Great. And you see, this shows up on all of the pages. Now, if we were to select um, the pages and uncheck them, uh, we could have it uh, just appear on certain pages if we like. Uh, Magic Show page, all right. YouTube channel, click that little link, and there you go. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go to a website that has some blogs on it, such as techeddy.com, and I also have the toolbar social toolbar added to this website as well and since the main page of techeddy.com is displaying posts and not static pages you will see the toolbar displays like this and this is the same plugin it's just displaying differently for this particular post and you see each post as we scroll down has its own toolbar that way your users can um, share your content using the toolbar and it will share that specific um, post or content for your site okay each one has its own toolbar each post does all right and we'll go back to a static page here the about tech eddy and you'll see that the toolbar shows up over here because this is a static page it's not a post it's not a blog post and there you go. So it's a very uh, usable tool for lots of people who run WordPress uh, blogs or websites who want to be able to allow their content to be easily shared um, through social networks. And of course, you have the major ones here. You have Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus One, StumbleUpon, and also LinkedIn. So those are probably the main ones. That's all you're really going to need. Those are the ones that people are on for the most part. But this allows you to uh, have your users share your content, allowing you to gain more users. So I uh, hope you check out the plugin, uh, take a look at the options, um, adapt it for your website, and have fun with it. And I hope you get lots and lots of use out of it. I'm Eddie Ray for TechEddy.com. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.